Warning, the following video might cause you to leave Christianity for good and take back your life. If you want to remain a Christian you better turn this video off now. Once you start listening to the facts, there is no going back to be a believer of Jesus Christ. Hello, I am Antichrist. I am here to tell you reasons why Jesus Christ is no good for you. Today I am not going to move because my legs are sore from running. However, I am still running my mouth because no Christian has even tried to show me a video response that they can move mountains with their faith, regenerate amputees lost limbs or they did not show me that they can bring back a dead person back to life. So the attack on Jesus Christ and the exposing of the Bible, for the fraud book that it is, continues. I am here explaining why Jesus Christ is no good for you. I am trying my best to convince you that you are wasting your time with Christianity. However I cannot force you to leave. Your religion, that is something you must do on your own. In today's video I will destroy his notion that Jesus Christ died for your sins. However, first I will have to explain the Adam and Eve story in great detail before I can destroy this notion. I am going to establish the fact that the day is from morning to evening. Turn in your Bibles. Genesis 1 colon 5 and God Yahweh Jehovah called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. This verse clearly states that a day is morning and evening not 1000 years. Let us get another verse explaining that the day is from morning to evening, Genesis 1 14, 19, and God Yahweh Jehovah, said, Let there be lights in the vault of the sky to separate the day from the night, and let them serve as signs to mark sacred times, and days and years, and let them be lights in the vault of the sky to give light on the earth, and it was so. God Yahweh Jehovah, made to a great light so the greater light to govern the day and the lesser light to govern the night, he also made the stars. God. Yahweh Jehovah, set them in the vault of the sky to give light on the earth, to govern the day and the night, and to separate light from darkness. And God Yahweh Jehovah, saw that it was good, and there was evening, and there was morning the fourth day. Again, those verses clearly explain that a day is from morning to evening and not 1000 years. Now, to set the fact of what really happened in the Garden of Eden, before I can continue let me just say this. Death was already in the system before the fall because when you pick a fruit off the tree you kill the fruit. Adam and Eve needed to consume fruit in order to live so they were not immortal. Genesis 2 colon 8 9 Now the Lord God, Yahweh Jehovah, had planted a garden in the east, in Eden, and there he put the men he had formed. The Lord God Yahweh Jehovah, made all kinds of trees grow out of the ground or trees that were pleasing to the eye and good for food. In the middle of the garden were the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Now, Christians if Yahweh did not want them to touch the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Why place a tree that you know that you did not want them to touch? It is like putting a loaded gun where children can reach it. Oh, you are going to say Yahweh wanted to test them to see if Adam and Eve were going to obey him. Adam and Eve did not have the knowledge of good and evil and you will see why. Genesis 2.15 The Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. And the Lord God commanded the man, You are free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. For when the day you eat from it you will certainly die. Genesis 3-1 Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say, You must not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat fruit from the trees in the garden, but God did say, You must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden. And you must not touch it, or you will die within the day. You will not certainly die within the day. The serpent said to the woman, For God knows that when you eat from it your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye, and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they realized they were naked, so they sewed fig leaves together, and made coverings for themselves. Skip to Genesis 3.22 And the Lord God, Yahweh Jehovah, said, The man has now become like one of us, knowing good and evil. He must not be allowed to reach out his hand and take also from the tree of life and eat, and live forever. Genesis 5 colon 5 altogether, 
Adam lived 930 years, and then he died, okay, repeating a sentence does not equal of the knowledge of good and evil. Knowledge of good and evil means that you as a person can determine what is good and evil in all situations, if Eve had the knowledge of good and evil she would not have went. After the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, this means that Yahweh failed to give Adam and Eve the knowledge of good and evil before the fall. In addition Yahweh Jehovah did not want Adam and Eve to have knowledge. He wanted them to be ignorant forever. You cannot disobey or obey anything without have the knowledge of good and evil. Adam and Eve did not have the knowledge of good and evil. Plus Yahweh did not say that the day will be sun up and sun down. If we went back to Genesis 1 colon 5 the Bible clearly says that a day is for morning to evening. Adam and Eve should have died when the evening came. No excuses. Those of you who want to say that one day is a thousand years to Yahweh are ignoring the fact that Genesis 1 colon 5 clearly states that morning and evening is one day. So that is a contradiction. What is a day morning to evening or one thousand years? It cannot be both. Plus the fact that in Genesis 3.22 behold a man has become like us knowing good and evil. The fact that Yahweh said that proves that Adam and Eve did not have the knowledge to know who was telling the truth. Your statement of Adam and Eve to sub and Yahweh Jehovah willfully has now been refuted. The fact that Yahweh lied about them dying after the day was over proves my point. Yahweh was the first sinner not Adam and Eve this means that Yahweh cannot be perfect. Now that we have that all cleared up we need to destroy his notion about Jesus being a savior for everyone's sins. I can prove that Jesus Christ did not die for anyone's sins. In part 1 I proved that Jesus Christ was a liar. In John 14 13 14 and whatever you ask in my name, I will do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son if you ask anything of me in my name, I will do it. He lied about prayer and the fact that he lied makes him a sinner according to the sin system. Since Jesus Christ is a sinner, his blood on the cross means nothing to anyone because he cannot grant prayers. All those gospel songs are lies created to keep you deluded. Here is another fact. The Bible God is also a liar. He lied to Adam and Eve about dying within the day that they were to eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Pause the video and go back to the part about explain the meaning of the day. The notion that Jesus Christ died for people's sins is now debunked, refuted and destroyed. I reject the notion of sin because Yahweh Jehovah cannot follow his own rules that he sets for humans. Sin is to disobey Yahweh however Yahweh has broken all the rules already. Since Yahweh breaks all the rules that he sets for humans then that Yahweh is also a sinner according to the same system that he sets. To said that Yahweh is not bound by his own system is a logical fallacy known as special pleading. Also that makes Yahweh a horrible parent because parents are supposed to set the example. Furthermore, since Jesus Christ is the son of Yahweh and Jesus lied about prayer, Jesus Christ is also a sinner and the whole system of Christianity means nothing. Yahweh Jehovah does not love you, Jesus Christ does not love you, if Jesus Christ really loved you he would teach about taking responsibly for your own actions. Next time I will cover the fact that there is no evidence outside the Bible for the claim that Jesus rose from the dead, until next time I am Antichrist because Jesus Christ and Yahweh Jehovah do not love you and they are immoral, believe in yourself, don't be ashamed of yourself, love yourself as you are, good day.